you already know all things sports and entertainment we can completely disagree but let's get this conversation started so skip bayless um recently did an interview because he's no longer a part of uh undisputed of course y'all know shannon sharp left undisputed last year during the nba when the nba finals was over and since then i mean he's went through the roof you already know top of the year he had that uh, vibe, one of the most watched interviews of all time with cat williams and um you know skip they tried to switch it up they got wheezy 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 anna they got Weezy on there. They got Keyshawn, who I like. And um, I know they had Richard Sermon at one point, And they also had Michael Irvin and Paul Pierce, you know, for basketball. Skip has some interesting things to say about him leaving, Shannon Sharp leaving Undisputed. Quote, and this is part of Washington Post. Quote, when Shannon Sharp left the network, or excuse me, quote, my heart was no longer in it because I didn't want Shannon to leave. I fought for him to stay. It was... It was a shock. They pushed Shannon out. Let, let, let me get this. Let me get this straight. Now, Shannon did say that he felt like management didn't take his side. Y'all remember Skip? They got into it several times. But this last time he went too far. And Skip said that Shannon Sharp was jealous of him because of Tom Brady. Even though Shannon Sharp is a three-time Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer. Um, but I don't think what Skip fails to realize. And a lot of people in a position like Skip who has uh, certain privileges that some of you and I cannot have. When he said what he said, he never apologized publicly. He came on. I remember this. He had his own podcast, and he basically said Shannon Sharp is my is my most fiercest competitor. And my thing is, if this is your teammate, right? Because Shannon be riding with he was riding with Skip. Why didn't you come out and say I'm sorry? I remember him and Chris Broussard got into it one time, and Skip publicly publicly apologize to skip Bouch i mean chris bouchard well, i'm saying skip bouchard chris bouchard why you couldn't did that with shannon y'all might have been able to save it then when darvin hamlin came out and skip put out that tweet and then shannon said what he said and and you just knew the relationship was over and honestly skip needs shannon shannon never needed skip you know now in the in the beginning was skip the bigger person yeah but shannon had already had over a million subscribers on the shay shay podcast and um he didn't even have nightcap yet but when he left when he left Undisputed, he started Nightcap. So, I don't know. I don't know. Skip, I don't know how you was... Why, why, why did you come out publicly apologize? You know, it, and it seemed like y'all had respect for each other, but that whole chemistry was over. And look, all things come, come, come to an end. Both of these guys are too... I guess you want to say braggadocious because Skip is like that as well. But the thing about Skip, he's very thin-skinned. Years ago, remember Jalen Rose called him out and... And they had to have a whole segment. This is what it was first and 10. And they had a whole segment about it, which turned into the whole show. And, and uh, Skip was talking about how he hurt. Well, how you think Shannon felt when you did what you did and, and didn't say, you you know, my bad? But that's a certain privilege, like I said, Skip Bayless has that some of us don't. And it's like, you know, you feel like you don't have to apologize or you want to do it in a different kind of way. So, you know, it is what it is. It just cost Skip millions of dollars down the road. Like I said, when Michael Irving them came, no disrespect to those guys, but when Shannon left, everybody else left because he had left a bad taste and not just Shannon's mouth, but my mouth, uh, my uncle's mouths, some of y'all uncle's brothers, even y'all mama's mouth. Come on now. That was completely disrespectful what he did. Then put your glasses back on. Put your glasses back on. So, you know, I don't feel sorry for Skip. It is what it is. Did he was he one of the, the first people to really take this debate style to the next level? Yeah, but you know, Skip got too big, man. He got he got too big and realized that he need us more than we need him. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.